finger licking good welcome to steam games guys my name is steve uh we've got the lovely original co-host i, I should say i shouldn't say original co-host co-host of steam games back <laughs> back with us say hello to ricky everybody hello um hello me we've we've already done a couple of these but we thought we'd bring you a very special uh season seasonal one as it is christmas and you all know that we love um everything that is coming out of japan we've got you a, a kfc dating simulator <laughs> oh this this does look good I, I really like the um the how they portrayed portrayed colonel sanders as a young man with white hair and mustache. so we we're, we're gonna start a new game over this so um we are doing this through a matter of me sharing my screen and me recording Ricky's audio somehow. Um, I'm just lots of technical wizardry. Lots of technical wizardry. So we're going to go a new game. Ricky, what do you want our guy to be called? Our person, should I say? Oh, Pedro. Pedro. Yeah, Pedro. Oh, it does help if I type. <laughs> Is that a nugget? Uh, it's a biscuit. <laughs> so, so... <laughs> a nugget and a biscuit nugget. I knew I'd seen it somewhere. <laughs> I knew uh... I'd seen that somewhere. <laughs> Brilliant. It, biscuit, it's, it started. Oh, there we go. It. Oh, we're we gonna get copyright for that. No, I don't think so. Thank God. Sleep soft as the morning sun casts a warm glow oh, through sorry. the window. Oh, sorry. God. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. Is that what all young Japanese <laughs> women have on their walls? Is a chicken, some Chick kind of chicken superhero? BTS. Is that, is that <laughs> BTS, yeah. <laughs> some kind of chicken heartthrob. Two seconds. Uh... Your first day of culinary school oh. with no time to sleep in. I'm going to do this. Because it is killing everything. So, sorry about that, ladies and gents. <laughs> um, or you could wake up now, now, now. Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Uh, do we smack that clock up and at them? Or throw that, that clock, <laughs> or throw that clock out the window? Picture. Oh, yeah, smack it up, smack it up. Not terrible savages. Oh, oops, I threw it out the window. You slept through the school year and gave up a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to meet Colonel Sanders. Oh, we got <laughs> <laughs> we got game over. Uh, let's try that again. <laughs> we lost already? Yeah. How's that even possible? I don't know. <laughs> okay, sorry. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in this moment forever. Or you could wake up now, now, now. Your first day of cut. He's got right. I know what to answer this time. It's smack that clock. This is very reminiscent of Pantsy Hunter. Yes, that's why I, I made. I want us to play it. <laughs> uh, lying in, lying in bed, um, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Just in case you needed, you needed more words in there. Your mind begins to wander. Oh, God. Oh. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by, and you find your imagination getting away from you. Um, I think we'll, you'll need to take this seriously, because BTS are watching. Yeah. I'd better make sure to arrive prepared for the first day. You bust through the mooring. Morning checklist. Teeth brushed. Hair equals combed. Pit equals deodorized. Nothing can stop you now. But can I just stop? This is a totally licensed game by KFC. Oh, it's fully endorsed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Jesus Christ. Is this like KFC Japanese branch or is this K KFC the massive American conglomerate? <laughs> no, this is, this is legit. Jesus. Um... Confidently grab a biscuit. <laughs> so this is a biscuit in America. It's how else do you grab a biscuit? Exactly. Uh, just what you need to get your blood flowing. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent, the magnificent University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. 
because that's what children are called. Because <laughs> that's what all children are called nowadays. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. Good morning, Pedro. I think I might have had caps lock on by accident. You Are you excited for the first day of the rest of your lives? Our lives? Actually, I'm... Because I, I sure am excited, a little nervous. Okay, okay, a lot nervous. What's the... It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but, well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. Oh, yeah, that's a symptom of... What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Classic Miriam, raised by master chef parents. She's always held herself to a very high standard. Ever since we were little baby playing together, classic you're Miriam. classic Miriam. Uh, you rescued me from that quicksand box. <laughs> it's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. But with University of Cooking School Academy for Learning famous three-day-only semesters, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. <laughs> a sweet girl, Miriam, has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. <laughs> um, God, I hate how much exposition <laughs> Japanese games do. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's unnecessary. Um, so, do we want to prep talk our best friend or change the subject to school gossip? Oh, school gossip. Gotta go school gossip. Come on. It's hard to see Miriam like this and frankly quite exhausting. Rather than dwell on her anxiety, you try and change the subject. <laughs> All summer you've been hearing rumours about a dreamy en <laughs> a dreamy en enigmatic mystery student who is enrolled at this school. Ooh, is it a boy? It's a boy. Bear with me, let me just tr try and look at the settings again. I want to prioritise both, please. Okay. Well, <laughs> no, it's all good. We'll pick up back here. Uh, uh, yeah, that's a little worrisome, but you should be fine. Now, what about this mystery student we read on about on the school message board? Any new deets? Oh, get this. I heard his name is Harland, and he's no ordinary student. They say he has powers. Oh, I he... told you he was a boy. <laughs> well, it's it's the, the title character. Uh, he said he has powers <laughs> since he was born from an egg. Oh, an, dear Lord. an egg like a chicken. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> but that thing about having powers, it would line up with some of our other rumours I've heard. Like, I heard he once fought a bear with just a smile. <laughs> you both sigh about thinking about this student. So handsome that the laws of physics don't apply to him. Dreamy. <laughs> Before you can get another word in, you're rudely interrupted someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. Oh, hey! Shit, that is proper smack. It's Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants and she, she knows it. Hello, Ashley. She looks like she should be a yeah, she look. I th I remember the bad guys in this look like Jesse and James. <laughs> oh, I didn't yeah. see the chicken shins. You leave Pedro's shins alone. Oh, God. <laughs> they are perfectly normal shins. Ugh, you can't stand Ashley. Even even her name is annoying. You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley, but she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. <laughs> <laughs> If anyone here knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. <laughs> We're not going to let you or your weird insults get to us. Across the cord, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van, the man man, has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight, you can see him actually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. Jesus. Ahem, Van Van. You rang rang. <laughs> I like that his hair's a star. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> Why does he wear a mascara? Is it uh, like a painted on like a painted on chef's coat? No, it's like a sleeveless chef's coat. It's just got a collar. It's, oh my god. It's so odd. You've never been sure what their arrangement is. 
but as long as you've known them, um, Aishley and Van Van have been just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. I can't believe that University of Cooking School Acad Academy for Learning, I'm going to get that right one day, would ever allow people like you to attend as students. I know, right? You'd think you'd, they'd just hand us our diplomas now. <laughs> I'm trying to find a funny voice for Van Van. Well, maybe hire us as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. <laughs> With the first day of school about to start, they just there's just not enough time to properly tell these two off. So you resist the urge. Let's go, Miriam. I don't know what he looks like. He looks like the, what's the band that did... Um... You mean, you mean the cartoons? No, but yeah, no, they're, they're real people. And they had yeah, no, that's the know. that's the name of the band. They were called the cartoons. Oh no way! <laughs> oh, Psh, God. See you later, losers. As you approach the door, you see a goofy-looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> I think it's broken. You reach oh, forward and easily pull the, pull the door open. Uh, that should do the trick. I love you. <laughs> I think you mean thank you? My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. Could someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading upside down. <laughs> Oh my god. Hi, Pop. I'm, I'm Pedro. So, are you going to make me hold, hold this door all day? <laughs> nope. And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Is it just me, or is he kind of cute? <laughs> I think it's just you. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. I don't know who this is. How do we win in this game? You date Colonel San Sanders. A scruffy-looking pooch takes his place at the podium at the front of the class. Adorable. Sprinkles. Oh, do you want to do the voice of Sprinkles? Sprinkles! <laughs> Now, now, quiet down, everyone. Who is this unreasonably cute pup? <laughs> Who is this unreasonably cute pup, and why is he in our culinary class? <laughs> you must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of UCSAL. <laughs> Please, call me <laughs> Professor Dog. <laughs> I may be cute and little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof. <laughs> When what? Sanders? Wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> what? A cute dog is a professor? <laughs> this is the best school ever. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around and a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. What was Bob's voice again? <laughs> uh, I'm chilly. <laughs> Someone close the window. And then... He walks in. Oh my god, here he comes. <laughs> oh. It's the colonel. I think we're going to have to talk to the colonel next time on Steam Games. Thank you very much for joining everybody. <laughs> uh, goodbye. Oh.